Greetings, greetings, greetings to one and all. Welcome to Bukhosi Kupe channel. We bring you yet another exciting presentation. This time we delve into the realm of uh, astronomy. And the subject of our presentation today is Ancient Egyptian Astronomy, a Setswana Sesutu Perspective, Part 1. What we are going to be doing in this series is presenting only one planet at a time uh, for purposes of uh, delving a little bit deeper in order to showcase what is it that the ancient Egyptians knew and understood about the planetary bodies in our solar system. Did they know as much as the current day um, scientists or did they not? Did they just uh, view these planetary bodies simply as stars um, or did they see something different? What is it that they knew? We are going to uh, answer those questions for you as we go through these uh, presentations. Okay? And um, as always, we ask you that you please subscribe to our channel and click that notification button so that you do not miss out on the content as we present it because it is really exciting and we think that you're going to enjoy it. And also, do not forget to share our videos with as many people as you possibly can who may be interested in this subject or otherwise may not be aware of this wealth of knowledge. Okay, without further ado, let's jump right into it. Here we go. The first planet that we're going to treat is our neighbor, Mars, the red planet, which um, scientists have said, you know, it, there was life there once, uh, it's possible for human beings to go and inhabit Mars and things of that nature, right? Um, what is it that the ancient Egyptians knew? All right, we're going to tr treat uh, three names, three names, okay? Uh, the first two found in, Wa in Wallace Budge's uh, dictionary and the third one found in the Mark Vigas dictionary. Uh, the first one being Her Desher, meaning Red Horus or Mars, right, as uh, presented by uh, uh, Wallace Budge. And Her Desher, Red Horus, the same thing, Mars, okay. And the third one, Herakti, uh, Her Akti or Horakti, Mars by Mark Vigas uh, Dictionary, okay. And then we're going to go into breaking down the actual meaning of these names. What is it that they tell us? Because the, these names actually have a lot of information in them, or rather, not a lot of information, but very precise information about Mars as a planetary body. All right? And you'll be surprised to learn what is it that the ancient Egyptians knew with uh, proper transla translation. All right. Uh, linguists and historians have not delved into this area. I'm not certain if, you know, um, there are some who actually know the meaning of uh, these terms. All right. These terms and as it pertains to the, uh, the planet Mars itself, or they just simply know that when they look at these glyphs, you know, her desher, it just means red Horus because uh, desher means red. Um, and, uh, and then, of course, uh, the assumption or the conclusion would be that, oh, yeah, it's referring to uh, the planet Mars. But the question is, what about Mars? Right? Did, they, did the ancient Egyptians just see it as a red planet? That's it? Right? And even this one, tesher, you know? the assumption that this word is the same as this, but as you, as you will see, that that is not the case, all right? These are two different words, all right? These are two different words. Yes, closely related, but they speak to different things about the planet Mars, all right? Her to share, Red Horus. And, of course, uh, this one... Uh, as uh, it is sometimes uh, articulated Herukuti, right? 
uh, or horakti um, in Western terminology. What does it actually mean? What is it about Mars? Because we are, it is known or accepted rather that um, you know this means uh, Heru of the horizon. Okay, but is it Heru of the horizon? Really? Okay, we shall find out. All right. So um, I give you in the beginning the first parts, uh, the the falcon meaning in the um, the uh, the stated or the presented hieroglyphs uh, having the same meaning as uh, the falcon, which is Hera, Hera in in Siswana Sesotho, Hera, which means circumnavigate, uh, circulate, enclose, or hedge. Okay, Hera, which means the same thing. All right. Now let's jump right into it and we are going to treat the first one the first one so the ancient Egyptians used the color of the flamingo right the color of the flamingo which is a mixture of red and white or um, in some cases even the color the golden yellow color right and red okay um, is considered di cere or di cere. All right, di cere. This is what de cher is. Di cere. It's a mix of red, white, or red, golden, yellow color. All right. So when the ancient Egyptians were uh, looking at the planet Mars, okay, they saw that. Um, its uh, surface, you know, had a uh, similar uh, color as the Sahara Desert sands. Okay, so they used a, a, a similar term that they used for the, the, the desert color, right, to refer to um, Mars, all right, the planet Mars. So when we put together the the name all right hera dicere hera dicere which means red white circumnavigator okay red white circumnavigator or you could call it the red circumnavigator because uh, the majority of the color is actually red all right with some white tinge on it as you saw with the uh, flamingo all right so hera dicere hera dicere which means the red or circumnavigator all right this is what our ancestors actually beheld from a distance okay mars and the next one that we jump into is this one yes what is it that they noticed oh yes this tesher is actually tushula tushula so they used something that they were aware of which is a syphilit syphilitic ulcer right uh, syphilitic ulcer and it appears like a crater all right it appears like a crater uh, tushula to Shula. All right. And the, is there something like that that actually matches that? All right. To Shula. Yes. Um, what they saw is these craters on the surface of planet Mars. Okay. And they were describing the craters with the word to Shula. All right. And the name is Hera. Tushula, Hera Tushula, which means cratered circumnavigator, cratered circumnavigator. All right. This is, of course, uh, the surface of Mars. Yes, and they were correct. The question is, how were they able to see so much detail about the planet Mars? Hmm. Right. 
um, Western science would uh, would like to have us think that the the black Egyptians, this is who they were, they were black, um, did not know much, right, about uh, astronomy. Actually, they knew a lot, a lot, sometimes even uh, a lot more than what Western science knows, All right? So they could see the surface of the planet Mars and described it in this name, Hera Tushula. All right. Okay. The next one. Hmm. Interesting. Yes. Akti. Akuti. Of Canyon, Gorge, Gully, Hollow, Horizon, um, Ravine. All right. What is it that they beheld? What is it that they beheld? when they saw uh, the planet Mars, all right? Because uh, the word Kuti means uh, hollow um, in Setswana, and it also means the horizon in Setswana, okay? That's interesting. We have retained the actual meaning, the actual name and meaning in its ancient form uh, up to today, all right? And it's also used for reference to canyons, gorges, gullies, ravines, you know, and things of that nature. All right. Kuti. Akuti, meaning of the canyon, of the gorge, of the gully, of the hollow, so, so and so forth. All right. What is the actual name? What is it that they see? Yes. Lo and behold. Um, Hera Akuti, Hera Akuti, circumnavigator with a canyon. All right, circumnavigator with a canyon. And what is it that they were beholding? They were actually seeing Valles Marine, Marines. I believe that's what it's called, the Valles uh, Marines. The, the, Mar the, Mar the Marinus Valley, okay, which is uh, on the surface of Mars and is actually the size of North America from um, what? East Coast to West Coast and a little bit more, okay? That's how big this is, this uh, Valles Marinus uh, is. It is huge and encompasses at least about a quarter, uh, if I'm not wrong, at least about a quarter of the surface of Mars, okay? This is what the ancient Egyptians knew. Now, you give your comments below and let us know what you think about this information that has been presented because uh, we have uh, uh, presented this from the Batswana perspective, Batswana Basotho perspective, um, because uh, our languages still retain uh, quite a good amount of uh, this language uh, of the ancient Egyptians. And for this reason, we are able to bring you this exclusive information in, in a way that has not been done before, because uh, it's easier for us when we read and observe this information. And this is how we were able to uh, figure out what is it that the ancient Egyptians were referring to when they gave these names, is because we still have it in our languages, All right? Though not used particularly in, you know, in this form, but yes, we still have the words in our languages and they describe fully um, and without any doubt the planet Mars. Give your comments below. Let us know what you think. Share uh, your thoughts with us. Um, and um, don't forget to share the videos with others. And we look forward to seeing you on the next uh, presentation of Bohosi Kupe in this series of uh, astronomy from the Batswana Basutu perspective in reference to the ancient Egyptian 
knowledge.